All right, guys, I got a random haul of things here that I just want to show you that I've gotten over the last couple days. Let's get into it. Let's start with the least interesting thing. So, because I've gotten into reading more, and I feel like I might include these in the what am I working on, you know, what I'm reading through, things like that, include that stuff in those videos. That's a new video series we started on this channel, by the way, if you're not following. Basically, that video series is a video series of me talking about what I'm getting ready to watch, what I'm working on for videos, and you can follow along and uh, be prepared for upcoming videos. So, because I started reading more, and one of the things I started reading was The Hobbits. I actually got this for Christmas last year. This is the illustrated edition. It's a very fancy, uh, gorgeous looking edition. But essentially, I got this for Christmas last year, and I never r read The Hobbit the whole way through because... Uh, I've never read any Tolkien books. Uh, I never got into Lord of the Rings as a kid. It just, it was just, it was just too long and too like, eh, not for me. But now that I'm older, I love that stuff. Never read any Tolkien's books though, and I wanted to read The Hobbit because it's the easiest book. It's a children's book, and I wanted to make up for something that happened when I was a kid. So when I was a kid, I went in. I think it was a middle school. Might have been sixth grade. Um, I went into the library saw the hobbitson on the shelf checked it out started reading it fucking hate this book i'm like this so long this guy's just fucking describing what his house looks like why would i ever want to read this now i'm reading through it i'm almost done i'm at like 160 pages into a 260 page book so or 62 page yeah so yeah but i went ahead and bought the star wars the star wars bookmark and what's really cool is this is the last one they were, they were it was three dollars and it came with these page clips, which are also like their own little bookmarks and their Baby Yoda ones. I'm going to have to buy some more bookmarks, but these are very, very cool. And I'm very excited to finish reading The Hobbit. I have some other books that I'm reading for upcoming videos. They'll probably show off in a different video. Uh, probably another one of those What Am I Working On videos. But uh, yeah, my mom went out of town um, to the beach. And they, in this beach area, has a lot of thrift shops. She got me a Krusty the Clown because she knows how much I love my Simpsons. One of my most prized possessions. You cannot see it. In fact, here, look what it looks like. I've shut it off before, but there, right there, crammed right in here in between these plushies is a giant-ass Bart Simpson from Universal Studios with the Krusty Clown hat. I've never used but I found that guy in good condition, brand new. The only thing is he didn't have his tags, but I don't really care. Um, I got him for five bucks. That giant thing. And that is one of my most prized possessions I own. It's one of those things that, you know, I'm constantly running out of space for plushies. That thing will never leave my house. Um, I love that thing more than anything. It is one of my prized possessions. It's probably one of my favorite things I own. So this is really great to have. Love Krusty Clown. Who doesn't? So, yeah, he's going to sit over here with my fraggles. Here, let me show you where I'm going to put him right here. He's going to sit right there. Every time I record, I see this little spot right here of just stuff and cool posters. Like I got Bumblebee, Transformers, all kinds of cool knickknacks oh, and some I, I'm watching through. Anyways, random, uh, we're done with that. So I got this at Target. This is a dollar or something. This is the Batman, the animated series Hot Wheels, which... Uh, saw that and I was like for a buck are you fucking kidding me hell yeah I'm gonna get this I mean this is Batman the animated series it's a little more it's got a different look to it it's not like the exact one but it's in the model of that um and that's inspired by that it's got the same length or width or whatever and yeah I I do like these Hot Wheels because what I do with them is I don't collect a lot of them if you see behind me there on my movie shelf, there's little slots on each shelf where I can put a little thing. And, I, and nothing big. Like, I can't put, like, a Funko Pop there. I take either my cup toppers that I get from working at a theater like these ones, put them there. Or I put Hot Wheels on top because they just look really cool sitting on a shelf all lined up together. And just, you know, add a little more personality to it. I, if I can ever find a cool one, I'll usually pick them up. Try not to get them though, because unless they're like a dollar or something, they're pretty pricey. Hot Wheels are kind of pricey, which is weird, because they're some of the cheapest toys to make, but yet they're really fucking expensive. Anyways, as now for my one title a month 
for the uh, or my one thing out of my wish list for a month thing that I like to do out of my Amazon wish list uh, for the month of October. I know I'll just be posted before October, but I'm counting this because I got it right at the end of the month, so why not? Um, this is something I've been meaning to grab for a little bit, and that's the Jurassic League hardcover edition. This is like 16 bucks on Amazon. I, the reason I wanted to get this is, number one, this is kind of weird, and just I just want to see what this is. Uh, basically, this is a more recent DC story that I don't know anything about except they're dinosaurs, and that's about it. But what's weird about this story is James Gunn is actually making an animated movie about this. So, uh, he of course, James Gunn runs the new DC Studios, and he's working on an animated movie for this for kids. Um, there's about six issues in here, so... That seems really cool. I don't know how well that will turn out, but then I have a little more faith in it because I had no fucking faith when Super Pets came out. I love that movie. I actually still have from work at the time. These little guys sitting right here on my shelf every day. I look at them. And I love them. Um, you know, I love that movie. I have it, I have it on 4K, so I will definitely read this and do a review for it whenever that gets close. I I don't know if it'll actually ever come out. Cause, you know, so many things with DC get announced and don't happen, but I like to think it'll come out. It looks really cool. And, uh, yeah, tonight I'm actually going to watch uh, the Superman documentary, so I'm kind of in a DC mood today. But, uh, yeah, that's everything I picked up. Just a bunch of random stuff. Nothing too fancy. I had a better haul video yesterday of stuff, but this is just kind of a more loose one. I should have a, I'll have a haul video next Wednesday like I normally do. And then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to be more uh, tight with my spending, especially because it's the end of the year and I'm getting in for the holidays. And uh, so, yeah, I don't have a lot. Oh, also, I didn't want to mention this. I Because <laughs> Disney Movie Awards closed, the only thing I had enough points for was this fanny pack. And I'm not going to lie, I've been actually using it. It's pretty cool. So, it's not a cool design. It's just the Disney Plus logo. No Disney characters on or anything. But, it's still pretty cool. And I actually use it. So, let me know your thoughts. Like, share, and subscribe.